Shamai Elite Chums. This is all about tactical core chip farming in a ship. So it's all about killing the banshees at farm sites to clear them out, yes, um, but also about farming the chips that they drop and that the revenants drop. So this can be done solo, but it's best done in a team of two or more. I'm flying a crate mark two, the build's in the description, and at the spire site um, you will fly low on approach to avoid as many banshees shut down missiles as possible. These missiles will shut down your engines and you may hit the ground, hence the shields. Now the spire I've used is not the lowest G, but it was the Axi target at the time, anti Xeno initiative that is. This increases the chance of other commanders there to help out. So here's uh, the Banshee coming up now. So as I approach I'm going to lift up into the air. Now this is uh, to prevent the Banshee from taking off the ground. Firstly to stop it from attacking us properly rather than just with the missiles. Um, but then uh, mainly to fire the missiles off the, at the ground around the Banshee because that will give us the splash damage that we need from below to bring the max damage to its weak points which are underneath. It has heavy armor on top so just hitting it on top is just not enough. Aim just ahead of its direction of travel. It will take your time to get your first kill so, so just keep on trying and don't give up. It will take a lot of missiles first time. But after the kill we'll get the collection limpets out because we might get a tactical core chip drop from this. Uh, notice we've got a reboot already there, um, but we're just going to keep on shooting ahead of it. Just be aware of the gravity is going to keep on bringing us down, and we're going to keep on shooting until we get it. And uh, there we go, there she goes, we've blasted her to pieces. We get a, f a million euros as a reward, get your limpets out and see what you can get off it. Um, and hopefully we'll get a tactical core chip off this. Um, but just bear in mind with the, the chip drops on any, any, any Banshee or Revenant, the chip drops are random. So it's not going to give you one every time. And of course the Limpets can die, but more with the Revenants. Um, so there we go, we've got um, a tactical core chip, no technological components. Let's look at that Banshee attack phase. So here I am in my Federal Corvette um, getting the splash damage on this Banshee. It fires these um, mine, sticky mine things at us, but they don't do a lot of damage. It's a shutdown missile that hits us right now. Now we get the uh, shield damage from hitting the ground, but then it's in its uh, active attack phase and it takes down the rest of our shield. So we need to escape bug out at this point because that's how dangerous the Banshee can be. So let's get back to farming. Once you've taken down any localized banshees, there's still some in the distance, kill any reverence that are nearby. These are the smaller ground Thargoids with just one light. They're much easier to kill, but just bear in mind they will attack with a single kind of beam laser, which is lethal when they form groups. Uh, but the missiles deal with them really easily. So I'm using three AX missiles at a time. You could use two if you wanted, that's still effective. Um, now, we just got hit by a shutdown missile and the tricky part here is um, the scouts are attacking us um, so we, are, we need to keep an eye on our shields for them dropping and then we need to bug out but what we're doing now is deploying our limpets so they will drop materials and the limpets will find it harder to m retrieve those materials many will die at times so you need at least 64 limpets for this task there is a chance that each drop can be a tactical core chip, but it is of course random. Um, although this, in this video I'll get two drops, that is quite fortunate for this kind of area. Normally it's just one or zero, so you've just got to use patience. Notice my shields have dropped, so at this point I need to bug out. So all I will do is boost away and then regenerate my shields before returning and farming again. It's tricky, but you have to keep doing it. Now you don't need cargo space for tactical core chips, they are a material and just bear in mind every drop will give you three of these materials so you might only need a handful of them for what you're trying to uh, build. So 37 is what I got there. So why not farm these chips at the abandoned military bases that are under Fargoid attack? Well, because it's much harder to do from a ship. Scouts spawn, but Medusas too. And these are much more damaging and they're much more difficult to boost away from. So I have farmed chips this way, but it took quite a lot of effort. So I think it really you need to attack these on foot or in an SIV, which I'm not a fan of. 
To finish, I'll show you a collection of my Banshee kills to give you an idea of where I hit to get the kill. This is not an easy activity, but you should be safe with the right equipment. I hope that you found this useful, so do drop any questions down below. Um, you could do a build with ideally the Crate 2 like me, or you could use any other medium ship like the Chieftain. You could go large with the Corvette, Anaconda or Cutter. Just be sure to bring enough collection limpets and repair limpets. Fast charge shields too. I wish you luck in getting the tactical core chips. For the other materials for the engineering of AGF protection, then you could go to the latest destroyed Titan for caustic crystals, and then the Titan again uh, that ideally just have to be taken down for the hardened surface fragments. Check the description for the details on uh, everything, uh, but thank you for watching and have a most excellent day.